got a call for a Jeep Wrangler, I believe, stuck by the Virgin River in Washington. They're stuck in some pretty soft sand, I guess, and they got stuck there last night. It's pretty hot, but I, it has a cloud cover, so it's not as hot as it could be. But it's getting up to 109 today. Stuck with the children in the Rudy Mobile. <laughs> the Rudy Mobile is the coolest mobile in our fleet. It'll be a good day, despite what Trevor thinks. And I was told it spent the night there. Are you with the vehicle now? I'm not, I'm at home, but I can meet you out there. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, just uh, don't forget the keys. No motor vehicles. This is the road. wasn't all the way down into four low. So we got there. Um, it wasn't it wasn't after too bad it. yeah yeah after we found it it took a little bit of a detour I guess Google Maps has changed a little bit since when they took the photo or at least the land has but uh, it went pretty smooth you want to tell us about it Lizzie yeah once we got under the four low it just crawled out of there nice and easy yeah. <laughs> I almost pulled that thing out of there without it helping good evening it is I don't know midnight it's morning now <laughs> Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, We're uh, headed up under canvas. I think there's a van up there that's hanging off of a cliff or over a rock or something. I don't think it's too bad, so we're gonna head up there. After we get gas. Oh, we're out of fuel. <laughs> then, there's another one out on Little Creek Mountain that they're lost and stuck in a small car and they can't make it back up a road they drove down. So it's going to be a long one tonight. I forgot to give the weather report. Yeah, you're not old enough. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's got to be in the low 90s still. Yeah, low 90s and it's 12, 10. I'm going to say it's 91 degrees. It's 12, 10 a.m. And in the words of Ed, we'll get them out. 
dead sleeping right now because... Which is uncommon. Well, Usually. Ed's made choices in his life where he gets to do what he wants, whenever he wants. So, he wants to sleep right now, we're gonna let him. I wanna sleep right now. <laughs> Rudy can't sleep right now because he's on call. Yes. I don't, I don't even have to be here. Rudy can handle these, but I just felt bad. I'm like, all right, <laughs> get up, go help him handle these jobs. Make sure he stays awake. Off in the distance, I see a shimmering light, but uh, it's not the Hotel California. It is under canvas. Yep. We got this call third party. So they're always a little bit fun because when you get a call third party, you somebody will call and be like, hey, go get this thing. And then we're like, oh, well, tell me about this thing. Well, it's not my problem. I'm not even involved. I'm just doing doing my part by so telling you. I saw someone who was stuck. <laughs> well, not, not even that. Even if they do have information, they kind of check out early. I don't, I'm not saying that's the case this time, but there's always a little bit of that when it's third party. So that's what we're walking into right now, is a situation where we have no idea who to talk to about this. Like we don't, we're gonna go to like the reception tent, but I'm not sure there's even anybody staffing that. Huh? Okay, so site 46, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Going forward, I was trying to see if I could back it out. Is it four wheel drive? No, it is not. I don't like that sound of that. Maybe we're gonna need a tow. All right, so I was hoping for four wheel drive. It wasn't. So then I thought maybe we'll get lucky, but we didn't. So. We'll, we'll just pull it with the winch, just real nice and easy. There's nothing damaged under there. Really? Turn this all the way to the right. But why, I mean, it looks like it's a big horseshoe driveway. Yeah. And this rock was supposed to... That was supposed to stop you, and it Where eventually I did, I guess. <laughs> it did, but... All right, so that one wasn't too difficult, but it was stuck. And now we've got about an hour drive to our next job. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll go across Sheep Bridge. Yeah, we'll go fine. across Sheep Bridge Road. That'll save us 20 minutes. Or at least 15. Depends on how fast I go. <laughs> He's kind of been moseying tonight. I'm like, let's do this. Let's get this done. Hold on, hold on. My moseying is the speed limit. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned because we're going to go rescue somebody else before the night is over. Yeah, you're driving a little fast now. On the highway, he was just moseying, and we get off on the dirt, and we're rally car racing. Yeah. Uh, yep. I disagree with both of those things. We get a lot of questions about how, you know, how do people get a hold of us? This particular one, these guys got a hold of their friend who was in good service, and they called us and was able to give GPS coordinates. So we've actually got a pin to a location, there is at least 4,000 other ways we get calls come in. This one is just one of them. I'm not super familiar with this road, but I've been up here before, and the, what was described to me was they drove down a road, they turned around, and they can't drive back up it. The pin that was dropped to me is on this main road, so that's not making a lot of sense, so we're theorizing, and we got a couple theories. One, 
perhaps they turned off this and they're not very far off and like you know a few yards off from the road or perhaps they turned around and got caught in the ditch just on this road what's some other theories perhaps they're sitting on the side of the road waiting for us to pick them up where they will bring us to to where the car some really terrible is. location <laughs> we're back now we are speculating whether or not the car can just be driven out. So perhaps I will get in it and just drive it out. Perhaps not. It's hard to say. Well, it looks like we have found them. See their headlights over there. So it's a Honda and it's in the middle of the road, just like we were told. Good evening. So we got a call from somebody that you guys were stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. the car won't make it over uh, certain parts. Okay. Uh, well, uh, How did you get, get in here? here? Uh, well, we took one of the roads to get in here, and it did just fine. I mean, there's a couple of parts where we could hear it kind of hit the bottom. Uh huh. And we tried to go out uh, a couple of different ways over there, and uh, it just would not. The front would not get over some of the rocks, so. We had some service right here, called our buddy who I think got in contact with you guys, but yeah. Drive it out. Awesome. Yeah, we're just trying to get it to the road. And yeah, good. it's not very far to a pretty decent road. Awesome. But this is definitely the wrong car. Yeah. Be yeah. yeah, definitely not too great. So do you want to jump in with him? Okay. Keep, keep as much weight out of here as possible. Totally. Yeah. And then uh, Rudy just follow me out. What do I have to say about that? Well, they, they were just out here and they couldn't quite find the right road to, uh, that their car was capable enough to make it out on. So they just kind of circled around until they were able to get surf service and they decided to play it safe and make a call. So I think so, they were lost and yeah. over their heads a little bit with the roughness. That car rides better than this Jeep does on I this particular road yeah it should this doesn't ride good at all it's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. we got another 40 minutes probably before we're home yeah. so 2 40 a.m. I'll be crawling in bed at 2 42 a.m. thanks for watching